World record, here I come! Wait a second, is that a mech suit? Yes! <laughs> this is a fake Minecraft speedrun. I'm gonna show you this one and more, but make no mistake, they will make you laugh. This speedrun is unusual for a variety of reasons. Number one, what is an Infinipearl and why is it trademarked? Number two, the speedrunner is so bad that they actually get trapped in this powder snow. Yeah, they waste a good 20 to 30 seconds just trying to escape the snow. It is hilarious. Until we finally discover discover what the Infinite Pearl is. Well, they use it to escape the snow. It's exactly what you'd expect. And as soon as they teleport, they turn around and they find a ruined portal. And they're still struggling in the snow. They take a peek at the ruined portal chest and it is loaded to the brim with a lot of good stuff, including speedrunner bulk? What in tarnation? Is this even a legitimate copy of Minecraft? Well, the speedrunner eats the bulk and I guess they're bulked now. Did I miss an update? Can someone help me out in the comments here? The speedrunner attempts, emphasis on attempts, building the ruined nether portal. I don't think this guy has ever heard of a straight line before. Despite that, and despite him not removing that crying obsidian, somehow he still lights the portal. Is this even possible? And surprise, surprise, of course, the speedrunner is right in front of a nether fortress, full to the brim of blazes. So they pearl into the nether fortress, uh, at least they tried to, by accident falling into the pit of lava and... I guess they're fine? This speedrun is beginning to feel like one of those dreams where you show up to class in just your underwear. This is such a fever dream. I guess they survive their slip into the lava, so they proceed to kill blazes. But they quite literally are on the brink of death one, two, three, four different times, somehow managing to get five blaze rods, which is an absolute miracle for their skill level. So the speedrunner returns to their nether portal, but unfortunately they begin to be chased by this army of piglins. So to avoid being almost killed a fifth time, they just throw all their gold in the ground and hope for the best. Dropping a total of 56 gold ingots and getting 45 ender pearls, I am more likely to win the lottery a thousand times in a row than this happening. So even though the gold distracted the piglins for just a moment, the speedrunner still almost dies trying to enter the nether portal, and somehow by a miracle they actually get in and go back to the overworld. And once in the overworld, the speedrunner crafts 10 eyes of ender, unfortunately wasting most of them. What a dummy. While the speedrunner is trying to locate the stronghold, I'm taking a look around their world, and this sea is very suspicious. There are two more ruined nether portals, and I'm pretty sure I see diamond on this mountain here, which really makes you wonder, where do you think the stronghold is? So the speedrunner crafts some diamond tools, and then they dig down. On their way down, though, they find a strange ore, mining it, getting an achievement called speedrunning time, and it turns out it's a speedrunner ingot. Again. What in tarnation. But despite all of this, the speedrunner still gets lost, almost dies to a witch, and somehow it turns out they were directly above the portal room the entire time. And remember how I said they wasted all their eyes of ender? Yeah, well, do the math here. You got six unfilled frames, and he has four eyes of ender. Oh, it's time to make your bets. What do you think this goofball is gonna do? Ten dollars says he summons the banana man or the peepee -pee trader. No, well, actually, the speedrunner left clicks on the two empty frames, and... Yeah, one of the frames is just replaced with an end portal. I mean, hey, that works too. So the speedrunner jumps into their single end portal, entering the end, and come on again. This is not the first time I've seen this. They are in a completely different version of Minecraft. Who has the time to do this? So the speedrunner approaches the dragon and begins to wallop him. Wait a second, why is the speedrunner turning around? They walk away from the ender dragon and the speedrunner finds a mech suit. Wait, that was so cool. Why'd they pause the game? Wait a second. What is that setting? 4K RTX realism. Oh my goodness. They just turned it on. Wait, what's going on here? That was so cool. That was the coolest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. A plus to the speedrunner. This speedrun, I'm gonna need help in the comments figuring out what exactly happened here because it is very professional, but also so, so wrong. The speedrunner spawns in a forest and then they break this very specific window, jumping up and accessing this chest in a village house. And everything looks pretty normal here, other than finding the exact number of obsidian they would need to build a nether portal. I mean, look, maybe this guy is just pretty lucky. So they find a pickaxe and they continue to loot the village houses and get some beds. 
Yes. This section though is extremely confusing to me as the speedrunner starts breaking cobblestone in this house and I don't know if I'm just tired, but there seems to be a very sudden cut. Yeah, actually, wait a second. Now that I take a look back at this footage, something's definitely wrong here. If I go frame by frame here, I don't know if that cobblestone just turned into obsidian or if this is a graphical glitch, but right after this happens, suddenly he's just in a completely different area. So what is this, the magical teleporting block? And that's what's pretty confusing about this cut is that it seems like nothing is different. So the speedrunner kills a squid and then they get some dye. They go back to the village, breaking a bookshelf and then crafting a book and quill. And here's where I just get so lost. They open up the book and quill and write, I I'm not even sure how to say this, a baptized redivides. What is this guy, a Harry Potter fan? What's going on here? And for a while, there is no follow-up as to what this book and quill's purpose is for the speed run until they go in the mines, mine some iron ore and start smelting it. So they build their nether portal, craft flint and steel with their iron, light the nether portal and uh, remember the book and quill from earlier? Well, uh, here's where it all comes together. Yeah, they just threw that book into the nether portal and now it looks like it leads to the dark dimension. You know how in my previous videos where I would say they enter the nether, but I say the end by accident? Well, this time, the speedrunner enters the end with the nether portal. What in tarnation? For some reason, the speedrun just goes into a video editor, and they're saying that the speedrun is legit because there's no cut when they enter the end. But if you look back at the timeline, there's like 40 different cuts. Buddy just exposed himself by trying not to expose himself. I cannot deal with this. And for the most part, when they get on the end island, they actually do look like they know exactly what they're doing when it comes to professional speedrunning. Uh, except for when they just put 10x speed on the screen and speed up everything. To be fair, in my personal opinion, the Ender Dragon fight is more boring than watching paint dry, so I do kind of appreciate that the speedrunner sped this part up. And honestly, I don't even care at this point if the speedrun is fake or not. This guy is literally preaching to the choir by typing perch in the chat box. Couldn't have said it better, buddy. After what seems like an eternity, the speedrunner actually does do really well with killing the dragon with beds, beating the game in really amazing time despite me not having any idea what just happened. And I was actually pretty interested in figuring out why there were still minutes left of this video when I found this at the end of it. Special edition TNT Minecraft nuke. Okay guys, I know this isn't the usual, but we gotta watch this. So someone in the comments gonna have to help me figure out what exactly is happening here, but it looks like he's jamming in a bunch of minecarts with TNT into a single block. All right, actually, that was pretty cool. This is quite literally the fastest speedrun I've ever witnessed in my entire life. The speedrunner creates their world, and we actually have to wait like a whole minute for the loading screen to finish. And as soon as they load into the world, they jump and a nether portal literally appears out of thin air. Well, I guess they're going to the nether now. And before the world even loads in, they get a ton of new recipes and advancements, and they have blaze rods and ender pearls already in their inventory. Somehow the blaze rods turn into blaze powder, and then that's added to the ender pearls to create eyes of ender. If someone has any idea how this is working, I am very curious. Please comment down below. And in a split second, an entire end portal is crafted beneath them. And once they're in the end, they jump, which teleports them on top of the end island. And the ender dragon has literally one HP. Then the speedrunner uses their bow, kills the dragon, and I guess beats Minecraft in literally one minute. But if you don't include the loading screens, it had to have been like 10 seconds. What in tarnation. This speedrunner builds a house. Uh, wait a second. What's going on outside of that house? Oh my goodness. Clearly, there's been some Minecraft updates that I've missed over the past few years. This was an absolute fever dream. Man, and I thought my speedrun was crazy. Mm hmm yep, that's right. I speed ran Minecraft. And you could bet a thousand shekels, it was totally legit. I mined, I crafted, I fought Endermen, danced karaoke, went to space. You know, just usual Minecraft speedrun stuff. So if you want to see me speedrun Minecraft totally legitimately and totally not for laughs, go on my channel and click it.